Alright, so this next reaction is how to do martial art at home. And it is by Nat Hearn. Now, as myself, I did do the same thing when I was doing martial art practice every single time. Well, I haven't did that one for a while because, um, I don't know. Because I've been having, I was still having myself a hard time, you know, trying to, um, figure it out how, how I was supposed to do perfectly for me to do martial art. Because, um, you know, it's all about the movements, you know. Yeah, the movements, the footworks, everything. And even though I've been having some very hard time, um, but I still get the job done, of course. Even though I'm going to try my best to, but I decided I would rather try martial art whenever I go to any schools. Because that's the plan I was going to do that for, like, this year. And also, I, I'm, I'm planning on, you know, losing weight as well. Because, um, it does, you know, help me a lot sometimes. And, um, and, uh, even though, even though I want to, even though I want to do it at home, I'm probably going to need a gear for me to, um, you know, to try. And, you know, it might, it quite might help. I mean, it, it, that might have helped. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll, 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 we'll see if that ever happens. So, sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And, you know, the only reason I want to, like, do martial arts is because, you know, I've been trying my best to, you know, you know, to, um, not having, like, a mental health issue and stuff because, um, even though I, even though I would try, I just, like, gonna keep on trying until I, I, you know, I cool off all the mental illness stuff, so yeah. But um, anyways, let's check it out in five, four, three, two. Some people can't get to a dojo as easily or often as they would like to. So in this video, I'm going to go through a few ways that you could do martial arts at home. But first, I'm excited to announce that I'm in a paid partnership with BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a top quality online therapy service. Therapy can be a bright spot during times of stress and change. It can be something to look forward to and it will give you the tools to manage everything going forward. Between traveling to many karate competitions to being a full-time YouTuber and content creator, my schedule is always busy and sometimes it can get a bit stressful. BetterHelp connects you with a credentialed therapist who is trained to listen and provide yeah. you with helpful advice. With I, BetterHelp, you can have your therapy sessions stressful. as a phone call, video chat, or messages, depending on what you prefer. So that is completely up to you. BetterHelp is helpful for learning positive coping skills and just becoming a better you anytime, anywhere. Without being tied down to a specific location that you have to attend every week, you can literally do it from anywhere. It teaches you how to set boundaries and just how to become the best version of yourself. And if you're someone like me who sometimes can let stress build up a little bit, then this could be the perfect route for you to take to develop a better mindset. If this is something you are interested in, then go ahead to the first link in the description and signing up through my link will get you 10% off your first month. It will help support this channel and it will also help you get it a bit cheaper. That is betterhelp.com slash nathern and help get your life on track. Okay, so back to the video. My first piece of advice for people wanting to do martial arts at home is do lots of shadow sparring. Now, shadow sparring can be done in a very small space. You don't need a massive hall, massive dojo to do it. For example, if you see here, you can throw punches on the spot you don't need to be moving around loads everywhere, you know, taking up loads of space. You could do it in, on the spot. If you have enough space in your house to stand up, then you've got enough space to do shadow sparring. And then if you are lucky enough to have a bit more space in your house, you can throw in kicks as well. You can still do those on the spot. They're just, you know, your legs are a bit longer, so it might take up a little bit more space. And also you can move around a little bit depending on how much space you've got. But shadow sparring, I would say, is my number one tip 
to staying on top of your martial arts when you can't attend the gym as often as you'd like to. Obviously, if you have a punch bag as well, then that, that is very helpful. But again, not everyone has one. So do your shadow sparring. Number two, and it must be about the millionth time that I've said this, but stretch every day. Again, you don't need loads of space to stretch. Stretching can be as simple as touching your toes. That's a valid stretch for your hamstrings. You know, sit in the butterfly position when you're watching TV. Sit in the frog splits when you're eating your cereal. Okay, maybe not that one. That's a bit weird. I don't know how that one would work. But, you know, you can always find ways to build stretching into your routine. Even just after you wake up, sit on your bedroom floor, touch your toes for 30 seconds, relax, do it again, relax, do that for five sets, and then you've stretched out your hamstrings, and then you, you'll feel a lot better for it. And also, it's just better for your martial arts, because that's what this video is about. So stretch every day. If you're stretching every single day consistently, and then if you attend a martial arts club once a week, you're going to be feeling a lot better for that session if you've been loosening yourself off every day. So stay on top of that stretching. I feel like a broken record. I've said it so many times, but it's very important to try and improve your mobility and flexibility for martial arts, because it has such a big impact on how, how good you're going to perform. Next tip is watch videos online of techniques you need to work on. So basically just subscribe to my channel. No, I'm only joking. Well, I'm not joking, you should do that. But if there is something that you struggled with in your dojo or gym, like a technique, a punch, a kick, a throw, search it up on YouTube. There are, there are so many videos, there's so many resources online of things you, that can help you. I've done it many times myself. If I'm struggling with something with my spinning hook kick, for example, I'd search it up and see how people better than me did it so I can learn from them, which is a perfect way to improve yourself. If you have people to look up to, that also improves you because it makes you want to be better, to be as good as them. So make sure you subscribe, guys, because, you know, I'm taking you to the top. I'm trying to anyway. Next, some people might call this one childish, but I'm going to demonstrate. So basically, you see this thing here. It's a light switch. Turn these on and off with your kicks. Sounds weird, but this is, this is what I did, and it, it's kind of addictive as well. If you can, obviously, because they are quite high sometimes, because they're up at hand level. So if you're, if you're flexible enough to do that, then do that. If you're, if you're going into bed at night, and you see your light switch is, is not turned on or off, then just flick your leg up and kick it off. Right, I'm going to turn that back on because the lighting just went really bad, but look. You can do it with a hook kick as well. And there you have it. So there's a plaque there for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, everyone that subscribed. Hopefully we'll have a big million one soon. So drop that subscribe, let's get to a million. But anyway, yeah, turn the light switches on and off with your kicks, it helps. And my final point for today, techniques you've learned in the dojo or gym, you can cut them down so that they fit in a different space. So I'll explain what this means. This applies in karate quite a lot because there's a lot of movements going up and down the dojo. Maybe not so much in boxing, I don't know, maybe a little bit with, with the footwork, but I'll do a demonstration. So basically, if you do karate like me, you'll know that it involves a lot of stepping forward, and doing techniques like punches and kicks and stuff. If you don't have the space to do that, you can cut the technique short. So instead of doing a full step forward and punching, you can simply step back to step forward. Again, step back. You know, you can, you can still work on your technique. And I've gone nowhere. I've pretty much used a square meter of space. It doesn't, oh, did you hear that? It does that all the time. Ouch. Anyway, all I'm doing here is using a very small space and I'm still practicing the punching technique. So that's something you can do. It works with kicks as well. Step back, kick, forward. I mean, with kicks anyway, you don't need to do that. You can just practice them on the spot, so you don't really need to do that footwork. But yeah, it's just something that I thought would help you out a little bit. But yes, thank you for watching. I hope you can take something from this video. I hope it helps out some of you that maybe uh, need it. And again, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to a million. We're nearly there, sort of. We're about 80,000 80, away, I think. So if 80,000 of you could just tell your friend to subscribe, we'll, we'll be there. So do that. Thank you to everyone who subscribed already. You're all legends. Go and I will see you me. in the next video. God save me. Go ahead, me. Sorry about that. I don't know why. <laughs> this damn commercial, damn ads every single time, man. But, um, but yeah, um, I did do the same thing, you know, for me to, like, learn martial arts every single time because, um, I want to be the next martial artist and stuff, you know. I want to be, learn everything I have, you know, just to, like, make sure I get, like, get better you know and better and better until you know it's a it's a long progress process you know for weeks so that's the only reason how it's gonna start but i don't think it might be that long but you just like you'll be a fast learner if you you know research everything around it because i i did do the same thing because um i wanted to like i wanted to like do that because i forgot to stress every single time because i was in a rush so 
That's the only reason why I. That's the only reason why I. I forgot about it because um. I don't know. Maybe I. Maybe I thought I was in a rush or something. Maybe I didn't pay attention. But maybe next time I'll try my best to do a stretch every single day if I can. Cause um, if I would, then I'll probably get my chance to do like a flexibility and stuff. In order for me like get started for like, you know, for um, you you know for you know gymnastic or something because I gotta say it might work if I stress a lot sometimes. If if that might help, I hope. But um, hopefully, but um, but yeah. Um, anyways, but let me know, comment down below, you want me to bring back, you know, martial art at home. I mean, I haven't did that because, um, for like, um, you know, for like, um, you know, like, uh, like, um, years or months or whatever, because, um, I been having some very hard time, you know, figuring it out. But I know I get too much stress, but I'm still trying my best to, so yeah. But um but anyways, uh, let me know, comment down below if you want me to do you want me to bring back. I hope it might because <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to do this a regular way. I won't move around. I can just move forward and step back. Yeah, move forward, step back. Move forward, step back because um, there's not enough space for me to try. But if I get my new house and there's more space to it, then I'll probably get my chance to like do that. It might help me get started. So, yeah. But um, but anyways, um, let me know comment down below and I'll see you on the next reaction videos.